Well, this is the last analysis I'm going to do for today. Man, what can I say? Big upset. I didn't expect it. And especially because Julia Stolerenko at uh, this weight class, this has never been her weight class in the first place. And right now it seems she's doing a great job. It seems she really belongs to this weight class. And what can I say about Julia Stolerenko's performance? I was having a dilemma which way could this go because uh, seeing uh, U.S. Tolerenko dragging the fight to the ground, I knew it was going to be risky for uh, Molly McCann. And uh, I'm honestly, I'm honestly thinking that Ilya Tolerenko actually belongs to 125, especially after what happened uh, in this fight and like. Uh, the Lithuanian, interestingly, she lost four of her last five outings since joining the league in 2020. It was her ever drawn to fly weight, so Jason Herzog was the referee, and while the veins saw them mash their faces together awkwardly, the bad blood keeps uh, with them as they race at one another to get going. McCann decided uh, to back off. When Stolyarenko charged, Stolyarenko was whiffing on several punches and kicks, and she was good in those exchanges. She was uh, really showing excellent lightweight background. You've seen the technical strikes, also some technical multi strikes, and McCann caught her fall with a short left hook on the way out, but Stolyarenko just ignored it and kept uh, raining big punches, coming at her. Stolyarenko was taking. Uh, to jabs and she was landing big jabs. She marked McCann's nose up uh, with them early. Mid ball Molly was jabbing to the body, coming over the top with the left. Stolyarenko returned fire with a high body kick and it landed uh, around the boob area. Like the two come together, throwing hands. Stolyarenko's reach is giving McCann some pause, some hard time. McCann was loading up a huge left hook, but Stolyarenko somehow tackled her to the floor under that left hook uh, she somehow tackled her to the floor she somehow ducked under that hook it looked pretty much impossible to me it was a very risky move but she ended up on the top and McCann got planted on her back but was quick to move she was trying to scramble up and Stolyarenko speedily took her back during a scramble the Liverpoolian turned her over and Stolyarenko knew that this was her time because Tolerenko is very scrappy of uh, her back, she's got a great BGG experience. She snagged hold of an arm bar in an awkward position. She locked it down even as McCann rolled over her to see what she believes would be a more adventurous place, a more advantageous place. And it hasn't been the right decision for uh, Molly McCann because she gave her arm, you know, she literally gave her arm with that scramble attempt and uh, she winded up on her back frenetically she frantically had to tap out because uh, when you end up on your back and when somebody overextends your arm like it happened this in this case when you're in this position when somebody is frenetically overextending your arm you don't have many choices uh, to defend you know the only thing you can do is step out because Stolyarenko didn't immediately release the torque in submission. McCann keeps to keep, kept tapping. She was in agony and uh, Stolyarenko was overextending her arm, lifting her hips up. And uh, that was all she wrote. Like it was one of the most painful submissions I've ever seen. Her tendon appeared to be on the verge of snapping and elbow was hyperextended, potentially even breaking. McCann started screaming out and some say it was a tap, some say it was a verbal submission. Herzog reached them after at least a half dozen taps and pulled them apart. McCann was in a bad way when she sat up, clutching her arm, which likely has suffered some serious damage. On the other side of the equation, the victorious Yulia Stolyarenko Wow, what a great performance. She spoiled the party of the British fans who were loudly in the favor of meatball. And the Lithuanian has now notched 10 arm bars across her 11 victories in this unforgiving sport. She is a master of armbar 
And I got to say, this was one of the best performances of Yulia Stolarenko I've ever seen. A lightweight fighter with a top-notch BGG expertise, I have to say. When elbow hyperextended, I believe that Jason Herzog should have uh, separated them at least a bit earlier. And uh, she he did it like after at least a half dozen taps and... Uh, I believe McCann's arm suffered a serious damage, and I believe she might have to undergo surgery in the future. But I think her time is done. I think Molly McCann is not going to say washed, but I don't see Molly McCann doing any more success in this division. After two back-to-back losses, it's hard to expect that she is going to recover. And Stolyarenko, she really belongs to 125, and this was the best move of her career. Let's go, Lithuania. Follow Modestas Bakowska's steps and... Climb to the throne.